Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today is September 20th, 2015. I'm here in Fisterville Trevos in Bucks County, pretty much northeast Philadelphia, far northeast. I'm here with my nephew, Kurt. Kurt, say hi. Hi. <laughs> my nephew is a little bit shy. But anyways, we're going to go do some fishing today in our local runoff. Well, before I get there, let me explain to you guys. This little runoff here is just in the neighborhood. It does not even have a name. As a matter of fact, this runoff doesn't even show on Google Maps. <laughs> okay. So anyways, we're going to start walking there now. Uh, my nephew, Kurt, he loves to play video games at home and stuff like that. So this is going to be a good experience for him because he pretty much never fishes. Okay, so I'm going to hand my rod to him today. We're going to do some fishing together. Hopefully, he will be able to catch some fish. You know, so we're going to have some joy outdoors, something like that. I mean, don't take me wrong, folks. Nothing wrong with kids staying at home and playing video game and stuff like that, you know. Moderation is key, right? But it's also nice, especially if you have kids, to take them outdoors, show them what modern nature is all about, right? And the joys of the sport. So, all right, let's do this. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll come back when I get there. All right, folks, we're finally getting here right by Lake Drive. In Fisterville Trivos. As you guys can see, just like I've mentioned previously, this is a little runoff right by the neighborhood where my sister lives at. Okay, so here I'll give you guys a very brief view of this place. That side over there is where the runoff comes from. It drops right over here next to this residential property. And by the way, we are not going to be fishing in the property, right? We're going to be fishing on the side of the property. And this is the little runoff, all right? And I don't know if you guys can see it or not. You can actually see some fish swimming it, okay? Mainly creek chubs. So what we're going to do today is something called micro fishing, okay? And micro fishing is a style of fishing that is fundamental for every multi-species angler. It is fundamental for every multi-species angler in a sense that there are species in the United States of America that are micro fishes. In other words, they don't grow bigger than six inches, okay? So yesterday I was passing here with my nephew. Oh, you know what, Kurt? Why don't you tell them? How did we find out about this place? Um, well, we were walking, we saw you. Okay, we were walking around. Where were we were going to? We were going to McDonald's and GameStop, right? And ju we just stopped here. And what did we find? Little fish. Little fish, right? Did you see the fish swim in the water? Yes. Yeah, so you see, folks, we found this place completely by accident. And that is the one of the wonderful things about being an urban angler in Philadelphia, okay? And what is it so wonderful about that it lies in the fact that you are never afraid of coming to places like this and casting your line in the water so here's the tip from my nephew too be adventurous if you find little places like this and you see little fishing edge and you are a multi-species angler never never be afraid of dropping a line in the water all right so now we're gonna get our stuff set up here this place looks a, is very very small and it is very very small but you guys would not believe how much of a challenge this place is to catch a species different species okay and that's because it is very hard to get the bait in front of that specific species of fish that you are looking for when you have schools of fish around. Well, anyways, you guys will see what I'm going to talk about, what I'm talking about here. Hopefully, we'll be able to show you guys some fish. How many different types of fish you think we're going to catch today, Kirch? How many different types of fish do you think we'll be able? I'm sorry? Two or one. Two or one? My God, my nephew is pessimistic. Okay, let's see. Maybe two, maybe one. Hopefully we'll have some fish to show you guys. All right, let's get started. I'm recording now. All right, folks, before anything else, I'm gonna get my rod set up here with my nephew. So since he's not used to do things, to doing things like this, I'm gonna show him how to get started, okay? 
So bear with me. Patience is a virtue. So what do we do with the reel, Kurt? Put it somewhere here. Yeah, that's right. See, you put it right over here, right? And you see you twist this until all the way up, okay? And then your reel, see, your reel is not moving now. It is straight, okay? Now we get the line, okay? Here, I need your help now. Put the line over the guides. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, you have to pass the guides. Look, look, give it to me here, look. You can pull it, that's fine, but you have to pass the guides. Wait, 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 all right, don't be impatient. Like I said, you have to pass the guides, look, in the middle, okay? Uh, Go ahead. Pass through the guides. Hold the rod nicely, yep. Pass it through the guides. That's right, you got one. Yeah, pull the line, that's fine. Pull a little bit extra. It's his first time doing this stuff actually, you know, so I'm not surprised that he's a little bit slow. When you bring kids out to, to fish actually, it's always good for them to have hands-on experience. So whatever they, they're able to do, you know, it would be best for them to do it. So, all right, don't miss it, don't miss it. Take your time, we'll be back when the setup's ready. All right, we are finally done with the setup. You wanna show our viewers where we're gonna be using for today, for bait? What are we gonna be using? Bread. What, is, what kind of bread is that? Um, potato bread. That's right, we're gonna be using potato bread on pretty much a size, what is this, a size eight hook? All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna get one small piece of this potato bread. All right, just small enough so that this thing actually stays on the hook. And we'll try to catch some fish with it. There we go. Okay, I'll hook it very basic like this. All right, it's your turn now. I'm gonna put a little bit of line down. You don't really need to cast. Just try to place the line in the water okay. where the fish is at. Now look how Uncle does it, okay? If you wanna release line from the rod, you open this thing here called the bail. And when you open the bail, the line goes down. You see that? You close the bail, the line gets straight. Now look, instead of just putting down, you swing it, you see? You see this winging motion right here? You swing it in the water, see, just like that. And then, whoa, there we go. First fish of the day. You see that? Once the fish got it, I just gave it a twitch of the rod upwards. That's called setting the hook. And folks, there we go. We got the first fish of the day here. It is a small creek chub, all right? Semotulus atromaculatus, if I'm not wrong. All right, so I'm gonna put a piece of bread now. My nephew's gonna give a try. We will see if we can catch anything else from this place. Okay, don't forget the swinging motion. All right, it's your turn now. Now it's one zero for, for uncle. One zero for uncle. Yeah, don't forget the swinging motion. You can just drop it. You gotta swing it in front of the fish. And you gotta let it sink too when it goes inside the water. Yeah, let it sink. Whoa! There we go! There we go! All right, now you reel it in. You reel it up. Reel it up a little bit. Okay, okay, I think that's good. That's good. I'm gonna hook it for you, all right? So that's your first fish of the day here. What is this, Kurt? Do you know? What does it look like? That's just what we caught, what I caught a little while ago. That's a creek chub, okay? There we go, and see, we just unhook it, and then just we throw it back. That's called catch and release, kiddo. All right, let's put some more pieces of potato bread, see if we can catch anything else, see if we can catch anything a little bit bigger too. Don't forget to swing it. You can't just let it sit like that. You're gonna let it sink a little bit so the fish actually knows the bait is sinking. Whoa, whoa! Oh man, that's a big one too. All right, let me hook here for you. Oh, that's a big creek chub. All right, folks, no kidding. You see this little runoff here? And look at the size of this creek chub, all right? That's like about five, six, that's about six inches creek chub, okay? 
six inches crick chub. You want to take a photo with it? Okay, come here. Hold your fish like this. Hold your fish like this. Here, you can give me the fishing rod. Here, hold your fish like this if you don't want to touch it. A little bit upwards. All right, we're going to take a, a little bit more, a little bit more towards the hook. Come on, a little bit over there. That's fine. The fish is not going to hurt you, kiddo. Fish is not going to hurt you. Here, hold it around here. Yeah, hold it around there. Yeah, we'll take a photo of it. A little bit upwards, right? Want to get your face too. Here. Try to catch another big one. Let's see what you got, kiddo. I think you got a fish on. I saw that bread disappear already, no? Whoa! All right, that's a good hook set, but no fish. Try it again, try it again. Okay, close to the vegetation. He decided to throw it close to the vegetation. That's fine, that's good, that's good. Let's see, let's see. What? There's a fish there that doesn't look like a crick chub. All right, put it back, put it back. That didn't work. Yeah, don't forget the swing. See, see, they're getting it, they're getting it. Whoa, all right. Man, brew it, brew it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you're getting a hang of it. Brew it up a little bit more. All right, so it's another crick chub. So apparently this place is filled with crick chubs, all right? There we go, let me unhook this fella real quick. Perfect bait size for bigger fish, all right, folks? Perfect bait size for like flathead catfish or something like that. Let me put another piece of bread on, see if we can catch something else. A little bit closer here to the hole. See, right over there. Put the rod down. Yeah, put the rod down, see if anything gets it. See, some, some, a fish is there, a fish is there, see? Wait, 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 look, 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 look. You see that fish there? Pull, pull. All right, buddy. There we go. That's a different type of fish, right? So this is our second species for the day. Let's take a look. What is this? Do you know what this is? This is beautiful, actually. This is a beautiful sample. Do you know what this is? Give it a try. Bluegill? No, it is not a bluegill. What other type of sunfish do you know about? A red sunfish? You mean the red breast? No, this is not a red breast sunfish. What else do we get hotter than bluegill and red breast? Pumpkin seed? No, no, close by is not a pumpkin seed. So there's only one left. If it is not a bluegill, not a red breast sunfish, and not a pumpkin seed, what is it? Um, what was the last one? Remember? I forgot what it was. It starts with a G. Green red sunfish. <laughs> you almost got it. It's called green sunfish. This is actually a green sunfish. I'm going to take a photo of it for my records. All right. Very nice. So that's our second species for the day. You see that? You got a crick chub so far. And now we got a green sunfish, Lepomis cyanellus. It is actually amazing to know that there are sunfish in here. All right, let's see if we can catch anything else. Try again. I, th I think the hole worked really well. Why don't you try putting in the hole again? Yeah, but you have to let it sink, remember? Be careful, be, careful with the, be careful with the wood, be careful with the wood, see, you almost got the wood. And your line isn't enough, you open the bale and let more line go out. Yeah, just like that, look, and then you cast inside the hole. No, 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 don't, cast, don't get the vegetation there, see, you got, you got the grass, excuse me. You got the grass, you got to be careful with this kind of stuff. See that? Down it goes. Don't forget, inside the hole, but be careful. Don't get, the, don't get the green stuff. Yeah, let it go down, let it go down, let it sink. Whoa, all right, all right, I think you got a fish on. No, all right, put it back in. Put it back in. Yeah, let it sink, you're gonna let it sink. So they think it's warm. Whoa, all right, man, you got it. You got it, whoa, be careful, root it up, root it up. Don't forget, you got a reel, right? You got a reel, you root the fish up. See, it's another beautiful sample of green sunfish. You want to take a photo with it? Yeah, why not, right? Let's see what else is inside this hole because this hole fascinates me. 
right? So let's wing it. Live gun is wing it in. Okay, I swung it in, man. Let's see. So bring some fish. Very small, but very nice. Very beautiful. So as you guys saw, my nephew and I, we have been catching the creek chubs here. The green sunfish as well. Two species for the day so far. And hopefully we will catch something else. But I tell you what, two species for this little place right here is already very good. You want to try it over there? All right, let's try it over there. Okay, let's see if there's anything bigger here. <laughs> Check this out. Another five, six inch creek chub right from under the pipe. Yep. So, all right, I guess this is all there is here. Creek chubs. Actually, very good bait. So, there you go. Creek chubs and green sunfish. If I catch anything else, I'll come back. If not, I'm just going to call it a day with a bunch of creek chubs. All right. All right, fellas. Final update. I fish here with my nephew for a little bit, a little outdoors activity. Right here, this runoff close to my sister's house in Fisterville, Trivos. There are pretty much just creek chubs, a few green sunfish, and a few white sucker inside. Although we were not able to get any white suckers. Right, Kurt? Yeah. So that's it for today. You know, and I'm going to upload this video later so you guys can check it out. This video serves as a great reminder that one angler should never overlook small streams, small runoffs, small sewage systems, you know, without giving it a try first. If you ever pass by one of those, it doesn't matter how small it is, and you see some fishing it, you should definitely stop by to wet a line. Every multi-species angler knows about this. And of course, lastly, you should always introduce the youth, all right, to the sport of fishing, okay? It is fun to stay home, play video games and stuff like that. I do it all the time. Moderation is the key. But more than anything, you know, if you have kids, this is my nephew, right? If you have kids, if you have relatives, friends, make sure to take them outdoors, you know? Look how happy that kid is. See? He almost fell too. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for today. Tie lines, folks. Only creek chubs and a couple green sunfish. But hey, it's still some good micro fishing, right? I'll see you guys next video.